Good morning everyone. I am Shamvi Shukla from Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering, IIT Dr. Ram Manohar Lohia Abad University, welcoming you all on my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about satellite, the introduction about satellite, need of satellite communication, working of satellite, advantages and disadvantages, and applications of satellite communication. Let's start with a general communication system. We know there are three basic elements of any communication system. These are the transmitter, a receiver, and a channel between the transmitter and receiver, which will ensure that the data transmission between these two will take place. Now, let's see the satellite communication. As the name clarifies, it is the type of communication system in which artificial satellites ensure transmission of data from sender to receiver end. Now, we see what is satellite. In general terms, a satellite is a smaller object that revolves around a larger object in space. Like moon is a natural satellite of Earth and Earth itself an example of natural satellite. There are thousands of artificial or man-made satellites are placed to orbit the Earth to achieve the various applications like remote sensing, navigation, weather forecasting, global positioning, etc. With the help of this figure, we can understand the working of satellites. In this communication, electromagnetic waves are used as carrier signals. These signals carry the information such as voice, audio, video, or any other data between ground and space. Here, we can see the antenna situated on Earth, simply called as Earth Station 1, transmitting the signal to the satellite. And the satellite amplifies the incoming signal, changes the frequency, and it transmits the signal back towards space, where the Earth Station 2 receives the data. We can see the satellites are working as the repeater, which increases the strength of the received signal and then transmits it back. But this repeater works as a transponder, that means it changes the frequency band of the transmitted signal from the received one. Here in this pictorial view of satellite communication, we can see two earth stations. One which is sending the data called source earth station. The frequency with which the source station sends signal into the space is called uplink frequency and the frequency with which the signal is sent by the satellite back to the earth is called the downlink frequency. These two frequencies are different from each other. Satellite's footprint is the area which receives a signal of useful strength from the satellite. Now we will see the various advantages of satellite communication. The coverage area is more than that of terrestrial system. Each and every corner of the earth can be covered in this type of communication system. Effective transmission cost is low and bandwidth is high. Now let's see some disadvantages of satellite communication like launching cost is high. Propagation delay is higher in comparison to the other terrestrial communication. Repairing satellite is a complex task. Free space loss is there. And here can be the condition of frequencies. As we have already seen, satellite communication has various applications. Like 
it plays a vital role in radio broadcasting voice communication tv broadcasting internet applications military services navigation systems remote sensing weather forecasting etc thank you everyone